All your fans out there, take a look at your TV screen. And look at my big man, 665, 505 pounds, Yokozuma, product of Japan. Everything that Japan brings out, A1. Number one wrestler, A1. American wrestler, <laughs> so so. Let me see you, American wrestler, pick up my Yokozuma and slam him. Pick him up and show him on his back. Let me see any American wrestler from WWF do that to my Yokozuma. For you meet my local donor. Remember, it's for the WWF Heavyweight Championship. And you stole that belt! Oh, oh, oh yes! You must be sleeping comfortably every night, huh, boy, son? But let me tell you, as punishment, you're gonna be punished. You're gonna be screaming in pain. Not once, not twice, perhaps six times. My Yukozuma come down with a kamikaze flash. Yes, and you'll be squashed. No one will ever see you again. Oh, All the little hosts will be crying. Well, let me tell you, look at your new idol, Yoko Zona. We're the ones upon taking that belt from you. They will take the belt back to Japan, where they belong. And all the people in Japan will be very, very happy. It will be in a big, big shrine. WWF, here we Japan, Yoko Zona. King of the Ring, I'm with the brand new World Wrestling Federation champion Yokozuna and his manager, Mr. Fuji. In an interview conducted earlier, you stated you would hold a celebration here in America. Why? Why? Simple. Because my Yokozuna won the WWF Heavyweight belt right here in beautiful America. So we celebrate Yokozuna and myself in America. Now, when would this celebration take place? Uh, when it has July 4th, boys, huh? Wait a minute, July 4th is uh, well, it's a big holiday. As a matter of fact, the 4th of July is America's birthday. Why would you celebrate the 4th of July? Why? Because America celebrates Independence Day. Yokozuna and Mr. Fuji celebrate with America. Where would this celebration take place? Historical landmark in America. Yes, Wait a minute, I... Mr. Fuji, you've got to be kidding me. That's what? I think you're actually trying no. to desecrate an American holiday, aren't you? No, 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 You no, and Yokozuna, no, no. up to your own. No, is that no. what we're going to expect no. from you? No. Come on. You have one chance at greatness, one chance to become the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion, and you blew it. And Yokozuna now, and will be forevermore, is still the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Champion. Sure, you won the match, <laughs> but you lost the war. You may think back, rip your pea brain up a little bit. Think back when you said, I only need one chance, I only need one opportunity. Well, that's what you got, because thanks to the clause that I inserted in the contract on behalf of Mr. Fuji, there's no return match. There's no rematch, no matter how much you want it, no matter how much you want to get a hold of Yokozuna again, no matter how much the outcry comes from all of your public, no matter how much Jack Tunney wants to sign the match, his hands are tied. Because the contract is legal and binding, and you signed your name to it. And that's the great thing about America. Contracts are illegal. And thank God there will be no rematch. Thank God. Because if I did make one mistake, if Mr. Fuji did make one mistake, and, and we're not admitting that we did, but if we did, it was underestimating you. Because you see, we thought that we were going to be facing a mere mortal man. We thought we were going to be facing one guy coming into that ring to try to take the beast down. But when you got in that ring and I looked at your face, I could see the adrenaline rushing through your veins. It was pumping right out in front of me. I could see the look in your eyes. I could see the fact that you showed no fear. And then when you threw your arms up and you came at Yokozuna, it was like you were drawn from the energy of all those people you met across this country. The auto workers in Detroit, the farmers in Kansas, all the people across the country that dream of accomplishing something, of getting their goal, of being somebody. You were drawing their spirit. You were drawing their power. And that's how you were able to manhandle the beast. 600 pounds up in the air with a body slam like it was nothing. You were drawing that power. And then... That steel implant in your forearm, I knew it was going to be formidable. But I didn't realize what an effect it would have when it went upside Yokozuna's head. I almost had a heart attack. We almost fell into 
floor because Joe Kazuda fell in the floor. Nothing has ever affected the big man like that. We realize that you manhandled the beast. And we also realize that all those people that supported you, all the people across the country, they had no compassion for me when you attacked me with my twisted neck, when you hit Mr. Fuji, when Yokozuna lay there unconscious for 22 minutes. They had no pity for us. But I guarantee you this, you'll never get another chance. No matter how much anybody wants it, you'll never get another chance at the beast. You'll never get another chance at the gold. Because Yokozuna is now and will be forevermore the World Wrestling Federation champion. The reality is Yokozuna and the fantasies have been dashed on the rocks. Bonsoir!